Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit using L'Hopital's rule. So as always, let's check what kind of case we're dealing with. Plus x tends to infinity, x squared plus 1 tends to infinity. And as x tends to infinity, 1 over x tends to 0. So we have a case of the form infinity to the 0 case. This is again a non-trivial case as the exponent of the base, sorry, of our expression going to infinity tries to push off the whole thing to infinity, but the exponent shrinking to zero tries to bring the whole expression back down to one, as any fixed number to the zeroth power is one. So you see we have again a non-trivial case as we have two opposing forces. But we know we can tackle such cases using first the ln. So we have the ln of the limit And again, because we have a positive function, and ln is continuous on the positive real axis, by continuity we can interchange the ln and the limit. Property of the logarithmic function, ln of a to the b is simply going to be b ln of a. But if we multiply by 1 over x, that's the same as dividing by x. And now we can look at what kind of case we're dealing with. As x tends to infinity, ln of x squared plus 1 tends to infinity, over, of course, infinity. So we have an infinity over infinity case. We can now apply L'Hopital's rule. So we differentiate the numerator, so by the derivative of ln will give us 1 over the argument, so 1 over x squared plus 1, but that is simply the derivative of ln times, by the chain rule, the derivative of the argument, which is 2x. So we have the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator, but the derivative of x is 1, so we don't have to write over 1. Well, we can simplify this a little bit. That's quite simply 2x over x squared plus 1. And now here we have two options. We still have an infinity over infinity case. So in theory, we can still apply L'Hopital's rule, but as we have simply a ratio of two polynomials and x tends to infinity, we do not need to use L'Hopital's rule to find this limit. We can instead use an elementary technique. And if you remember, we simply have to divide top and bottom by the largest power of x. And that is, of course, here x squared. And again, we're not cheating as 1 over x squared over itself is simply 1. So if you multiply through the numerator, x over x squared is 1 over x. So you have 2 over x over x squared over x squared is 1 plus 1 over x squared. And now the limit is trivial. As x tends to infinity, 2 over x tends to 0. 1 over x squared tends to 0, so we're left with 0 over 1, which is, of course, simply 0. So we have the answer, but of course, don't forget, not to the original limit, but to the ln of the original limit. So the ln of L 
is equal to zero. To isolate L, we raise both sides with E, so E to the ln of L equals E to the zero. E being the inverse of ln, they cancel each other out. Therefore, L is E to the zero, but E to the zero is simply one. So in this case, the limit is equal to one. And so you see in this case, because the limit is one, well, the exponent took over and made the whole expression shrink back down to one. Now in some other cases, the base may take over and push the whole thing off to infinity, and in yet other cases, they can also balance each other out to, in theory, any real number. And that's it.